you showed some very good strategic thinking in terms of the markets and the way that you wanted to go and attack your market, the way that you identified market areas to start out in. That made a lot of good sense to us. Uh, the way that you, uh, you understood the com your cost elements were going to be, uh, how important marketing was, and I think on the way out, I think you also, you really identified that 41% that was up for grab. And, and you made it clear, I'm going for this, and then the odds are we'll get taken out. We want to go grab market share, be a small player, and hopefully get bought by a big player. So we thought it was outstanding. So uh, thank you very much again. Let's give up the line. Now, down to today's business. Um, I'm thrilled to have with me today Mr. Dave Roach, uh, who was here. Dave was a class mine of mine from 1973 from Fairfield Prep. And today, uh, Dave is the uh, Vice President of HR. Dave, remind me again of the company name? ShopRite. ShopRite. Down in Stanford, and they own eight, ten stores ten in the area? Ten stores now. Ten stores in the area. They have several thousand employees, and Mr. Roach is responsible for going on out and identifying the needs of their business, uh, have, creating jobs and job descriptions, and then matching uh, the talents of the many candidates that uh, come and look for employment, and making the best ma match between people's, uh, people's potential, uh, skills, and the requirements of the job. And so uh, he's come before and is going to talk to you today uh, about some things that you can do uh, in kind of three areas. The first is networking. How do you go and, and, and find out about jobs? How do you promote yourself? Uh, second, uh, what is a resume and how do you use it? And third, how do you prepare for an interview? How do you go in? What are some of the things that you can do to position yourself in the best light to get the job. What are some common mistakes that you can avoid? And what are some things that you can do in terms of planning, preparation, and actually participating in the interview? And then at the end, I'd like to maybe give you a few tips focusing specifically on some of the college interviews that some of you guys are going to start doing in the not too distant future. So Mr. Roach, the floor is yours. Thank you, Thomas. everybody. First things first, Harvard is ahead of Cincinnati in game one. I guess it is. Woo-hoo! Uh, Let's well, see if we can say that uh, an hour. See how long that'll last, yeah. Um, thank you, Tom. This has always been a pleasure for me to come and talk to this group because, um, A, I don't get to do it all that often, once a year. Uh, B, it's always great to come back to Fairfield Prep. You know, having come to school here, uh, graduated from here. All of my brothers came and went here. My sons came and went here. And there is a, certainly a tradition of success. Um, what you're going to find here, and you guys will find it out, just like all the rest of those graduates, you're going to learn how to learn from people here that are some of the finest you'll ever run into. And you're going to be learning with people who you will find will be some of the finest people you know, and I know that. And I know it because after all these years, the, my people that I consider my very best friends, where did they come from? Here, the, the friends you make here, the acquaintances, the contacts, the networks you create here, okay? Uh, we're gonna talk about everything Tom talked about, but there's a couple of things that I that, um, wanted to make clear. Uh, you're going, now, let's get, where are you now? How many of you are heading to, how many of you are seniors? Okay, start your interviews yet? Uh, they're done. Hmm? Uh, they're done? The interviews are done? Congratulations. So, where are you heading? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah? Pretty much down to Notre Dame, UVA, and Michigan. Good for you. How about you? I'm going to Carnegie Mellon next year. Good, where did it go, guys? How was the process? It was uh, pretty good. It, uh, kind of rigorous, or was it easier than you thought? It was a little stressful at first. but once Why? You know, what made it stressful? Um, all the applications that we had to get in at the same so time. So it's the paperwork? Yeah, paperwork. Yeah. How about the process? Of when, did you have to go interview and talk I to did, them? Yeah. How did that go? That went pretty well, actually. Yeah. No, no angst? No, no sleepless nights? Not at all. No. 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 Pretty confident. Yeah. All right. Same thing with you. Yeah. Okay. Class dismissed.
<laughs> Just listen to these guys, they're going to make it up. Gonna be okay. um, that, that's great news. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way all the time. But there are so many things that you can do right and so many things that can go wrong. Okay? Um, my first job, I, I had a kid in the neighborhood who wanted to sell his paper route. So myself and my brother, who was one year older, we bought the paper route. And it was a networking thing. We found this kid. He was graduating from Andrew Ward High School. And I lived up on Fairfield Woods Road. I had the paper route, the longest kid, the longest time I've ever known anybody had a paper route, but this kid was in high school. He had hundreds and hundreds of papers. We bought a portion of it. Uh, nine months into it, my brother didn't want to do it anymore, so I bought him out for, I don't know what it cost then, $30 for his 40 different stops. And then I got tired of it when I found out from my uncle, who was a member at Brooklyn Country Club, that you could go caddy on a weekend. And if you're good, you can carry one bag. If you're really good, you can get two bags. And if you're great, you can do a double loop. So you've got two bags of 20 bucks a pop, and you're taking two rounds, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. I can make 80 bucks easy, right? And if you can get them Saturday and Sunday, that's a ton of money. And this is seventh, eighth grade. So.